Welcome to Digital Asset News, the like top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets. Man, bring down to bite-sized pieces. So today, the story really is the markets. And uh, I just want to do this quick video just to uh, talk to everybody, especially if you are new out there and you don't know what the craziness is all going on and uh, how things can drop this fast and how these things can happen so quickly in cryptocurrency land because isn't this supposed to go up forever? Well, no. And I'm going to tell you, uh, this is good for the market. This is healthy. And this is exactly uh, what is supposed to happen. So uh, real quick, let me just talk to you <laughs> uh, if you are new. Uh, if you are new and you came over from the traditional markets, I know this is a very scary time. And it's okay because uh, when I first got into it, I was like, wow, this is moving a lot faster than the uh, crazy stocks that I used to get into, uh, which were, you know, very blue chip type of things and very safe. And now all of a sudden we're seeing slides of like 10 20, 50%. So you have to understand that uh, uh, today is just one of those red days and you have to take a look at it from an investor's standpoint and just uh, just take a step back and go, well, it, it is what it is. So I know people, uh, they get real upset uh, when I talk anything negative about, uh, especially Bitcoin or the crypto market, like it's ever gonna go down. Because here's the thing, uh, I'm, not a, uh, I'm not a sensationalist. I, I've been around the block. This isn't my first rodeo. This isn't my first business. I, open, I own multiple businesses and, and things just don't go the, the way you want to all the time. This is not uh, always going to be rainbows and, and, uh, and, uh, and candy and everything's going to be fantastic all the time. It just doesn't work like that. Life doesn't work like that. And this is, the, the, this is the market that we're in. But I will tell you this, even though we're down uh, today, you know, 10%, 15%, in some places, 25%, depending on what you bought, um, it's actually good news. I'm going to tell you exactly why. So first of all, let's just jump back real quick and uh, take a look at what's going on in the market. So uh, today it is March 25th. I get it going. It's uh, almost 1030 AM El Paso, Texas time. And we got uh, uh, Bitcoin right now as it stands at, you know, 1030 AM is at, it was, it's down 9% in 24 hours. Ooh, 9%. I'm telling you right now, in the traditional market, if you're from there, 9% for like a quarter is like jump out the window in, in our space. That's we, we call that a Thursday. Not a big deal. And uh, we're down to 51.6. Uh, and we were almost at 60,000 at one point, just what, a week, two weeks ago? So eh. uh, Ethereum down 7%. Tether, who cares? Finance coin, 12%. Cardano, 2%. Man, polka dot, 16, 17% as I'm talking, 10%. And pretty much a big red day. Is anything up? Is up 0 0.18. Watch out. Uh, no, nothing. Not in the top 50. So, uh, so yeah, looks pretty awful, right? Just awful. And uh, actually, I had talked about this <laughs> just like two or three days ago, uh, related nights. Uh, it was March 22nd. I said, Bitcoin's going to 50K. And the reason I, I talked about, I'm saying Bitcoin to 50K, not because I have a crystal ball. I know exactly what's going to go on. I know exactly the price points. I have no, I really have no idea. But I, I make educated guesses. I listen to people smarter than me. Listen to uh, CJ and Monty over there at Market Rebellion. Those guys are, are smart and they've been in the game for a long time and they know how to read technicals and they know about the human side as far as like institutions and big players dumping and selling to take profits. So when they say that Bitcoin's going to go to 50K or below that, I usually listen. And uh, I mean, they're not right 100% of the time because who is, you know? But uh, they were right on this one and uh, here we are. So I said, hey, Bitcoin, go to 50K. And I, people just lost their minds. They were like, how dare you say that? You've got so many subscribers. You shouldn't say that because then they'll panic sell and then they're, they're going to get out of the market. And it's I'm like, that's just what it is. And, and that's what, what's what happened. And actually, if you take a look, then some will say, well, it's 51,000, Rob. That's true. But if they go to 50,600 50, today, yeah, 6 in the AM, in the AM. So again, it's not that I know it, but we have to be okay with calling out and saying, hey, uh, these things are happening. This is uh, what is going on. And this is what, where it could potentially go. Now, if people panic sell because of something that I say, you shouldn't, first of all, you should do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, and these are just the things that, that I see. So you take a look at what I'm saying, take a look at somebody else's saying, take a look at the technicals, take a look at the sentiment analysis and get as much information as you possibly can to make the best decision for you and your family. And that is the, that is really, really the best thing. So having said all that, I will say this, um, 
Well, first of all, before I forget, the reason why I have these uh, wired uh, microphone, I'm not using my SM7B, which everybody seems to, well, some people seem to like, it's because uh, I'm tired of, of holding it with my hand because I like to, you know, express myself with my, with my hands, part Italian, that's how it is. So uh, one of these things, uh, I'm just going to use the, the, the wired ones. There's very few people who are like, the audio sucks. And the reason they said is because they are true technophiles or audiophiles, and they really want to hear the most crisp, clearest sound. Well, not today. So when I'm talking about all these things that are going on, and I, I just want you to understand that there's a difference between like an, an investor mindset and a trader mindset. A lot of people you're going to see on YouTube are going to whip out these technicals and they're going to talk about all these things. And they're going to say this and this can, it's going to go this, it's going to the moon and, and 30,000 Ethereum by tomorrow. And it's, it's just ridiculous. And they're really just selling hope. And it's, it, it, it's, it's a real bummer. This is a real slog. When I first got into this, I thought the people that had held Bitcoin were just dumb and lucky honestly. And then as I've gone through my journey, I've realized it's hard. It's hard to, to get through this whole phase and not sell anything. I mean, my friend George would talk about this all the time. Uh, you know, you got to put in the work on everything. There is no get rich quick. It's just, it's just the truth. And in this situation, it is the same type of thing. So if you want to trade and do all those things, I trade a little bit. That's true. But uh, I mean, it's like three to 5% of my portfolio. 95% is just me buying and holding. And that's usually the secret. So all the times, all, all the people that you hear about, like, I made so much money on this. So I made sure that. They're not a bunch of day traders. I mean, they can be, but I will tell you, I will tell you this. I, I lived in Vegas for a couple of years and I was like, hey, Johnny, how's things going with the, with the, you know, poker? Oh man, I'm up like 10 grand. I'm like, oh, how, how'd that happen? You, you weren't doing so hot. It's like, yeah, well, I lost like 30. But on Tuesday, man, I had 10K. It was no big deal. That's the kind of mentality you're going to hear, right? You're going to hear about all these traders like, oh, I made all this money or whatever else. Psh. Maybe they did. Uh, and there's very few of them that can. And uh, those are the ones that I listen to, AJ Monty. And there's some other people that uh, I really don't get into it because I just want to, you know, uh, just buy and hold. So this is the thing you have to remember. This is the big thing I always talk about. You have to remember that everything goes in four-year cycles, right? And where you are, you watching this video right now are in a great spot right now to really capitalize. And I wish I would've gotten him here, but everything's in a four-year cycle for crypto because everything goes off of Bitcoin. So in 2012, there was a halving, right? And that's when Bitcoin's five bucks, remember five bucks? Whew, I don't, I wasn't at that point, but uh, it sounds awesome. Then you had an all-time high because the supply got cut in half. Same demand, half the supply, everybody goes crazy, bumps up, I mean, huge, right? Then it, this big hockey stick, smart money goes, that's crazy, we gotta get out. And they got out. And they sold off and there was a big dip, then a reset. And then that in 2016, another halving. And guess what? There's the same demand, half the supply. We had this all-time high. But look at this, big hockey stick. You know where I got in? Right around here, which is where a lot of you, I think, got into if you've been around for a long time. And the smart money goes, whoa, this big hockey stick? We got to get the hell out of here. And they did. And they sold off. And there was a big dip and then the reset. And I'm not in the business of losing money. I always tell my wife this. And uh, I'm too damn stubborn to sell. So I held it the whole time. I held everything the whole time. And not only did I do that, I dollar cost average the last three years. And we just had a, had a halving. Again, but there is the same demand or increasing demand, but half the supply. So what do you think is going to happen in 2021? Well, it's going to be another huge all-time high, especially with the institutions that are coming in. But then, of course, people will tell me this. But Rob, I understand. There's all these institutions that are coming from everywhere. And uh, Tesla's here at MicroStrategy. So it really is not really going to be like this huge bear market, whatever else, and dips, right? Well, let me take that back. Everybody, most people know there's going to be dips. Like today's a dip, you know, 10%. What are you going to do? And uh, people say that institutions are here that's going to stabilize everything. Could be true. I, I don't know. But uh, I will say this. this. These hockey sticks, these big hockey sticks that go up, that happened, uh, it's going to happen in 2021. That happened in 2017 that happened in 2013, it's going to happen again. And that's going to be because of FOMO. And I think people, the smart money, the big institutions that came in were like, whoa, this is too crazy. We got to take a bunch of profits. Like my friend CJ says, nobody went broke taking profits. That's exactly what's going to happen again, I believe. Now, the big question is if we have this big sell-off, when is the next, uh, uh, or how long is the next bull bear market? Is going to be two years like it was before? Or just like, you know, two to three months or six months? I don't know, but I got an exit plan for that. So as we're talking about all these things, I just want you to remember this, and that is 
the best time to invest is when everything's going flat. Uh, this is when I started to invest really heavily around 2019. 2018, I was you know still dollar cost averaging. But the second best time is right now. Right now where you're at, this is the second best time. I should really put that for, for the next part. But just like we did in 2017, when we were going all, we just had a halving, we were going all the way up. This is the best time to invest. It just is. And uh, if you, and this is the, the crux of what I want to tell you, which is this. When you look at these types of things and everything is crashing around you, and you're like, holy smokes. I don't care if you went all in, it's fine. I don't care if you're dollar cost averaging or value cost averaging. I personally like to, to dollar cost average or even value cost average on a big uh, going in type of guy. Um, these are the great days that you look at as an investor because you can sit back and be happy and be like, wow, look at this 10% off or 20% off flash sale for everything. And I remember back in 2017 when I was watching, no, 2018, when I was watching these videos, same thing as, as you're doing right now. And I used to get so pissed off <laughs> at all these YouTubers who were like, Oh, this is a great flash sale. I can get a bunch of I can get a bunch of cheap alts. And, and I was like, God damn it, why do you say that? I'm over here hurting so much because I went all in at the very peak and you're over here telling me to buy some more. Who the hell are you? And now I get it. And now I get it because I don't have to do that. So look, if you're panicking right now and you went in all in, it's okay. It's okay. Just wait a little bit. This is what I did. Not don't be in the business of losing money. This is not financial advice. You're free to do whatever you want to. If you want to sell everything, that's fine. You can get out. But this is what I'm going to do. And this is what I did. I held the whole time. I kept putting money in. And uh, if I would have been able to do that at this point, if I would have gotten into 2017 in the very beginning, and we would have had those big those, those, uh, those dips and corrections, I would have made out like a bandit. And I think that is what potentially you could do. So I know today kind of sucks because things are going down. but just a normal thing. Look, um, if there's still people in the world who like to manipulate, if there's still people in the world who are whales, if there's still people in the world who are super greedy, we will have uh, these huge monstrous, we'll have corrections, we'll have dips, and, I, and we'll have bear markets because people are going to take profits. I don't think that will ever change. The only thing that I have is maybe the duration of these bear markets will change. So again, uh, that is it. So don't worry. Don't freak out. It's gonna be. It's gonna be all right. I've been in the same position you were at. Um, it'll be all right. All right. So that's it for today. I don't want to really go over the news or anything else up because, you know, whatever. What, whatever it is. Uh, we just had Elon Musk yesterday talk about how you can buy uh, Teslas uh, with Bitcoin, and it still went down. So, ugh, whatever. Uh, just fall on the path. Be fine. So look, that's it for today. If you liked the video and you found value in it and you didn't uh, freak out, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That always helps the channel tremendously. Also, if you like these types of videos, uh, consider subscribing. Most things we talk about are pretty time sensitive and it would help to subscribe so I can notify you. And uh, that is all for today. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.